Autism, Life in Lockdown, Q&A with Rosalind. What did you do to change or adjust your routine during lockdown? It was very tricky at first. I didn't quite know what to do. But I did, I did do um, a topics, look, looking up a topic every day during lockdown um, and finding out more about it. So anything from what are the greatest scientific breakthroughs of the 21st century to how to stop being a couch potato. So <laughs> different random stuff and the tornadoes looked up and ended up making a book about it. So um, sticking it in a book, like scrapbook type thing. And yeah, it's good fun. It was great fun and it kept me busy. So yeah, different various things with walk out, um, walk around our area and keeping the social distancing always and things like that. So um, just making those little adjustments and doing things did really help. Did you have any fears when food shopping and how did you overcome them? So I'm kind of trying to adjust slowly, yes. I kind of have fears of going into shops in case coronavirus was passed around. I think the mask does help. It's not that nice to wear. and It's just getting used to it, I suppose, getting used to um, various shops and things. At first it was really scary, now then you just get used to it. And yeah, just slowly going to different places and it's, yeah, and I find it's much better now. I feel more confident about it, apart from when people don't social distance, but at least with the mask it's um, better. Um, it's more outside when they don't social distance and you haven't got your mask on, that's... <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> so there are still aspects that are scary. What are your current coping strategies? Um, I don't know if I have strategies per se. I just do what other people do. Um, keep that mask on. Keep social distancing. If I feel in shops and things I don't generally outside because as long as I'm social distancing which is hard sometimes I do get concerned because people don't seem to be aware or bother about social distancing so that's more tough um so I just try and keep away as much as possible and try and keep myself safe as much as possible and try not to worry so much as well I suppose I've got to the point now when I think, OK, don't worry, that's over, just forget it, just move on. <laughs> if it's social distancing has been tough. Um, yeah, so I think that's how I generally have overcome them. But obviously there's still some fear around.